All right, so this is going to be analysis of various sheets against Falcon. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with Swedish Delight. I'm going to open up a notepad tab for myself so I can take some notes. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this looks like it's going to be pretty quick. The destruction of this Falcon. Um, Swedish Delight. From I watched a little bit of him against another pool of Falcon. It looked like he was playing the matchup pretty standard. Uh, like, not really being too aggressive, like, waiting for Falcon to do a move and then pressuring him off of it. And only really going for aggressive plays um, when he had when he had Falcon in the corner. Like, when he, has, when he has Falcon all the way in the corner, that's when he goes in with, like, tilts and moves and stuff like Tilts and other moves. Like, tilts, uh, and then also aerials, like, forward, auto-cancel forward air. Um, and I was watching some some club yesterday, and he liked to when he didn't have Falcon in the corner do some like spaced backers to zone out Falcon's air, short hop aerials. So we're probably gonna see some more of that, like some more of the same in this set. Like when Falcon when Sheik is at like mid stage with Falcon kind of in the corner, uh, zoning aerials and tilts, and then when Falcon's all the way in the corner, proactive aggressive tilts that are you know just spaced to pretty much cover the entire corner. So let's get into it. Let's do some analysis. And I'll open up my trusty snipping tool as well. Okay, so I don't, I've never heard of this Falcon, so I'm assuming he's just gonna get washed in this set. Cause Swedish is definitely just a really solid all around cheek. And you don't really need to be too flashy to do well in the, in the Falcon matchup. You don't really even need that, like, crisp of movement. You just need to make good decisions. So we missed the start. So, okay, so now Falcon's out of the corner. She, uh, Swedish is in the corner. So he's pretty conservative. Just dashes towards him the shield stop. Doesn't really do anything too aggressive. Because Falcon, when he has you in the corner, he can really effectively uh, space outside your range and, like, uh, zone out you coming forward with his own aer like aerials. Falcon's kind of similar to Sheik in that way, where he zones out. Like his aerials are pretty much zoning aerials, like especially neutral air. And he really effectively just uh, can zone people out when they're in the corner. But he kind of sometimes has trouble actually pushing them there, because he doesn't really have very many good ways of taking space besides like dashing forward in the shield stop and like dashing forward in the aerials. And even those are pretty risky, like even a neutral air can get crouch cancelled, a weak knee can get crouch cancelled, and the stomp is just so slow that if you're trying to take space with it, it's really risky. Oh, so okay, so Swedish shield stops, and he sees Falcon about in range, like in just almost in range of Forder. Like if he falls down like that like that, then he could be in range of forward air. I'm gonna real quick spam another chat. So, okay, so we see shield stop, dash forward shield stop, so we just sees that Falcon could fall down into range of fair. And so he short hops to see if we can get the fair. Doesn't get it. And then wave lands back. So then he dash forward, because he sees that Falcon is landing from an aerial. Which puts uh, Sheik and Falcon at pretty much frame, like pretty much neutral frame advantage wise. And so she, Swedish then walks forward, wave dash forward, walks forward to close space and crouches. Again, like a really conservative uh, movement based pressure to not really 
waste too many frames, not really commit themselves too much, just moving forward to pressure Falcon into doing something. So Falcon sees the walk forward, does a snare to try and hit it, she just crashes under it, and then Suja sees Falcon landing near him, and he immediately dashes back, F tilts. So, like, one thing that's already become pretty apparent is that uh, when Swedish, when Falcon lands, Swedish immediately tries to pressure his landing, like the spot that he's landing at. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I've seen from pretty much every Falcon I've seen playing this matchup. Like, I mean, pre from what I've seen from pretty much every sheep playing this matchup, almost all of them will wait until Falcon lands from an aerial to really do anything too committal and do anything too aggressive, and we have, we see uh, Swedish Delight doing the same exact thing. Falcon lands, Falcon lands from an aerial, Swedish pressures him. Falcon lands from an aerial, Swedish pressures him. And then when he has, so when he has Falcon in the corner, and Falcon doesn't have any more space to dash back with, he sees, so he, so he F-tilts right, he sees that Falcon's in his dash back, He's shield stop. So he dashes back away because he knows that he's in range of the back air. So he dashes back into shield stop, sees Falcon going to the platform, and then immediately when he sees Falcon going to the platform, just does a short hop that allows him to bear the space and allows him to do a bear that's meant to zone out Falcon's drop through aerial. And then again, he sees that Falcon's about to land. So he pressures him with an F-tilt. And then he's in there. And he's just coming down with an air. When Falcon lands, he just like straight hits on him. He's just coming down on, on him with aerials. A little bit of a whiff, a little bit of a dropped edge guard there by Swedish. So I'm gonna look at this. Um, okay. So Swedish jumps out, uh, was that an up air? Yeah, Swedish jumps out of the up air, does the DI up, down, and away, or I think up and away into jump out, then comes down, tries to zone out Falcon's landing with the flare, lands in the shield, then again, when he's at this close range, when he's at this close range, he sees he sees Falcon just standing in place, so he just does a jump, full hop, crosses him up, and then F tilts again after empty landing. Is that a no, after landing from forward air? Auto cancel forward air. Oh, what was that? So Swedish. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do have the same exact profile picture. Back to analysis. I'm really interested in this back air that Swedish did because that's a really uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically aggressive back air, especially in this matchup. Okay, so Swedish. There's a short hop that avoids the cross up uh, stomp by Falcon. And he sees Falcon landing from an aerial, empty lands, and does a bear. Oh, okay, so he sees the Falcon landing from an aerial, and then he does the bear to space out another aerial, to zone out another aerial. And how did he get this grab? He just okay, yeah. So he just immediately after landing, because he knows that Falcon after he gets caught in the air and lands, he's in a really bad position. Because 
Falcon doesn't have uh, any good tilt for like contesting that space immediately in front of him. He doesn't really have great burst, like great like a smash that can contest that space. Or, like around him, he doesn't really have anything besides the aerials. So when you land, when you catch Falcon landing and you're right next to him, you can just grab. And that's another thing I saw Plup doing against Falcons. Just when he sees a landing, just immediately attacking it with grab. Okay, so let's see what happened. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's pretty unfortunate for Falcon. Just uh, ASDI down tech. And Swedish after this okay, after the aerial so again, Falcon is just so bad at in these landing situations that even when he contact like makes a pretty solid up air on on Sheik's shield. So he just feels confident enough to like mid dash back and then immediately dash attack Falcon's landing spot, which is also also nice because it gets him out of the corner, uh, which is really important against Falcon. You don't want to be in the corner against him. Although if you're M2K, then you're fine with being in the corner because it means that like Falcon is approaching you. So you know, interesting, interesting dash attack from Swedish there. And then what the so the. So he dash tacked through and then immediately backered, like rising backward to try and zone out an aerial from Falcon. Then just gets caught by Falcon kneeing the landing spot. Because Falcon dashed back instead of doing an aerial. So again, so Swedish. Needles, Needles Falcon at somewhat close range. Sees that he's inside uh, Falcon short up aerial range and does a shield stop backer that allows him to zone, like allows him to hit either a dash in by Falcon or an aerial in by Falcon. Another thing, one thing I saw Plup do uh, is also use backer like this to zone out a dash forward or an aerial. Um, neither, not uh, Plup n nor Swedish really use forward air too much from what I've seen. Um, although, uh, like I, like Drug Fox uses forward air, um, Shroom uses forward air in this same kind of spot in the same horror situation, and another another really bad thing about the matchup for Falcon is that she pretty much gets this regrab gets this grab for free, this back air regrab, or this back air to grab. Because any time Falcon's landing like this, uh, either from an F tilt or from an aerial, she pretty much has a free grab on him because it's not like he's gonna. I mean, I guess he could jab. Oh no, that's no, that's actually pretty. I don't think I think that's a true combo actually. Falcon may have been able to like buffer spot dodge or something, or like buffer roll away or roll in. But I don't think he could have done anything besides that. I think even Chab wouldn't have fit here. So touch Jason in the corner. And one. Swedish has been getting caught by uh, Falcon's Aerial Smell Ledge a lot this game. <laughs> Just like that, he takes the stock. So again, we're going to see movement out of the corner is pretty conservative. And when he's kind of in center stage, when he has center stage with Falcon in the corner, he just zones him out with back airs. And that's the game. So pretty, pretty clean stuff from Swedish. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can find another mash of him bodying some Falcon. Day. 
this would probably be a good set to watch. Although I still, I want to mainly see if you have any sets against the lower level players. Okay, so there's a set against S teams or against NMW, and a set against uh, Captain Smuckers up above. Where did it go? So I'll save that to my Sheik video playlist. And let's watch the Smucker set. This one. So we enter into it already, already pretty much, already, yeah, like two stocks into the match. And Smucker is definitely a higher level Falcon than the Falcon we just saw play. So Swedish corners him, and then immediately starts owning him out with a prayer. You see his falcon. He sees falcon dash dancing in the corner. Okay, now he sees falcon shield stop. Yeah, sees Falcon shield stop, and then leave dashes out of, leave dashes forward, off the platform and backers, and then so again Falcon's landing, she is right next to him, so Swedish immediately rising nears to pressure him in this spot, because he knows that uh, Smuckers is going to want to do an aerial to contest that space, and he also knows that uh, rising near will beat out any aerial that Smuckers does. Okay, so Swedish did that down smash because he thought that, well basically because Smuckers is right next to him. So down smash is either going to hit or zone out a dash forward just like it does here. Then after after the move ends, Swedish dashes back, trying to avoid a falcon grab or like a stomp or a knee or any sort of aerial. Gets a grab. Oh, that was actually, oh wow, that was not unfortunate, that was just good stuff by Smuckers there. So a big thing that a lot of Sheiks do in this matchup is they're gonna, after they do it like a low leg move, dash back and immediately dash tag forward to catch the, to catch Falcon's landing or catch him in, catch his landing or catch him in the air. And again, so Falcon's on the corner, so Swedish is able to lay a dash forward and F-tilt without any fear of him dashing, dash dancing around it. And again, Swedish dashes back after his F-tilt, and does he, yeah, and catches uh, Falcon's landing. And again, conservative stuff when he's in the corner. But does he see Falcon landing? Yeah, Falcon lands next to him, so he pressures him with grab. Ooh. Okay, it looks like he tried to contest that with up air, but he was too slow. Like, or up air or forward air. I think both were, either one of those was what Swoosh was trying to go for. How do you get this crab? Oh, okay. That was actually just a edge guard. So that was one long edge guard. And he keeps it going. Finishes off Swoosh's stock. And Swish was just doing this this zoning movement again. Again, he was just boxing Falcon into the corner. And then when he jumps, pressuring his landing. Uh, 
And so, so how does he get how does he get this combo? How does he get this grab? Oh, so wow. Again, just uses his movement to bait an attack, and then when Falcon lands or goes into leg, just immediately start pressuring him. We're really not even seeing that much proactive zoning from Swedish. He's pretty much just playing purely reactively. How does he get this grab? So yeah, we're pretty much seeing that Swedish is almost never proactively attacking Falcon. He's pretty much always reactively attacking Falcon whenever he sees Falcon land from something. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's a, I think one of the big themes I've noticed from Swedish's play. Like the she's very like very reactive, attacks Falcon's landings, and only swings like proactively when he has Falcon cornered, like all the way in the corner. Again, attacking Falcon landing with that wave dash out of shield. Oh, and then uh, Smuckers just makes a good read here on that's uh, yeah, on Swedish dancing in place, dash dancing in place. Oh, and then he kills himself. Smuckers not playing too well in this set. Looks like, from what I understand, Smuckers is a pretty inconsistent player, like pretty hot or cold. Again, Swedish comes down on top of Falcon. Sweet so he comes down with that Nair. We saw it earlier. Swedish is not looking too on point. I think after like one more stock, I'm going to switch to a different set. A different set and a different chic. Actually, I guess I'll just let this game finish out. I'm not going to do too much analysis on this, though. I'm just going to let it play. Oh. Again, uh, zoning, like, cautious movement out of the corner. And the shield. Something we've been seeing switch to across all of the sets. Again, shield stop. When Swedish is in the corner, shield stop is his main way of escaping it. And just kind of just moving on Falcon. Like when you're out, when you have him in the corner, or when you have him landing, you can pressure him, but other than that, you don't really want to attack him when he's in his dash dance. Because that's what Falcon wants you to do. He wants you to attack him so he can whip punish you.
And that's it. Okay. So what up here? Sheep Falcon sets can I pull up? Characters. Sheik. And Captain Falcon. Calvin versus Slime. Oh, Swift Base. Playing Sheik now? Interesting. Oh, Rolly versus Captain Face Rolls might be the one. Oh, or Douchebag Dylan versus Spark. I think Douchebag Dylan. Is he ranked? Okay, he's good enough. Yeah, he's my local hero. So that is the stuff I'm going to watch. I'll watch it on YouTube. Okay. So from start, uh, Falcon lands in center. Sweet, uh, that. Falcon lands in center. She lands on the platform. Or starts on the platform. Sees Falcon below him, like blow into the in needle range or run off fair range. Immediately runs off slaps. And since Falcon's in stun, he just goes for the grab. We've been seeing that for pretty much every Sheik. And okay, so let's let's look. Let's get back to the analyzing. So so Spark saw the landing. Again, like look at this. He's just forcing Falcon in the corner for the movement, and then once he has Falcon in the corner, he actually then starts pressuring him. He goes to the platform when he's at that like long range where Falcon can sort of running short up arrow you. Doesn't want to fight in that range. Yeah, so let's see how we can manage this this invincibility. Yeah, it just moves on him. And then keeps moving on him when he's at low percents. Zones out the aerial with the back air again, but it didn't work out. And yeah, so now well, now he has Falcon on the corner, he just goes on the aggressive and grabs him. Yeah, Spark is definitely cooler in Swedish. He's way more slick. Definitely way faster. He's going for also a lot of cool up airs. Oh, that was slick. That was slick. Let's look at it. Okay, so this is all Spark's invincibility. He tried. Oh, he tried to go for. Tried to tech chase with up air, which is an, a cool thing that uh, more sheiks have been doing recently. They've been tech chasing up air, like tech chasing um, for on platform tech chases. They've been using, like more sheiks in general, have been using uh, up air to cover missed tech and tech in place, and then forward air to cover tech away, back air to cover tech behind. You don't, or you just cover tech behind with up air as well. You can do like dashed up air to cover the tech in place, tech this tech, and then use standing in place, like in place up air to cover your tech behind, and then you cover tech away with dash or hop fair, or dash full hop fair. So, it, so Spark has Falcon in the corner, so he just goes on the aggressive and starts pressuring him with aerials. And again, when Falcon's at low percent, it doesn't really do too much. Just kind of moves on him, goes to the platforms, try, tries to find needles on him. And how do you get that grab? Okay, so he, he aerials Falcon. This is one big difference I've been, I'm seeing uh, from sh the, like a difference from Swedish's play. That Spark, when he has Falcon in a in like in a disadvantage situation. He'll, he's super willing to go for a grab instead of like a short hop fair or an, or an F tilt. So 
he sees the landing. So then, so he sees the landing and drops down from the top platform with needles to be, to put some pressure on. Sees he has some advantage on Falcon, so he goes for the grab. That's so that's one thing that's, that Spark loves to do that Swedish didn't really do. He really Spark will proactively grab in a sense because I mean he's not really proactively grabbing. He's more reactively grabbing because he's reacting to a good situation with grab. And he's not really forcing a situation. Like he's not using grab in situations where he and Falcon are neutral. He's using Fal he's using grab in situations where he has the advantage on Falcon. Oh wow. So he grabs ASDI's down <laughs> and just grabs and then just grabs douchebag Dylan. Poor guy. So I think after after this game I'm gonna cut the analysis and switch to StarCraft until I have to eat some food. So I can uh, until I had to eat some food and go to the PSU weekly. Okay, what what was the opening? Yeah, so he just spot dodges, sees that Falcon landing right next to him, and up tilts. That was something that Plup was doing. He was using a, a lot of up tilt, like a lot of dashboard up tilt. Which is actually kind of a hard input to do, dash forward, run, cancel, left tilt. So again, we see Spark go into the platforms when he has Falcon at 0%, because nothing really is going to like lead to a conversion off of him. Like, you're pretty much looking for backer, like backer into grab, or run off there into grab, or needles into grab. So Spark doesn't really like doing the, the zoning aerials, and so he likes to try and be aggressive at low percents with the needles from full hop and from top platform. Yeah, which he gets there. That was slick. I gotta learn that. That's really good. The shield trap fastfall needle. Or shield trap needle fastfall. I'm not sure if he can fastfall after doing needles. I don't, or like I'm not sure if he can fastfall before if he can only fastfall before the needle or if he can only fastfall or if he can fastfall before and after. I'm not sure. How does he get hit? Okay, so he was trying to zone out. Was that trying to zone out? Yeah, trying to cover a full hop by Falcon or an up or a short hop, I think. And he get ups, normal get up into get need. Pretty strong combo. And then he hit, so he has. How do you get the? What was the opening? No, oh, he just falls from the platform. Falls from the spawn platform. Just puts Falcon on the corner and immediately starts corner pressuring him. Okay, and that's game one. And I think that's where I'll cut it. I don't... I was analyzing for a good bit today. Um, and I'll do some more analysis tomorrow of Falcons. I'll probably do Captain Face Roll versus Falcon. Um, no, like Captain Face Roll versus. I think there was some. There was some Falcon that. There was some Chief Falcon with Captain Face Roll I saw on Vods.co. But I'll just watch the rest of this set. Actually, okay, where'd the opening come from? Yep, that's pretty true combo on Falcon, because he doesn't really have much to, to contest that space immediately around him with. Sick combo. So sick. Okay. Looks like Douchebag Dylan doing a lot better in this set.
And yeah, so look at with Spark when he doesn't when he's cornered or when Falcon is center stage, just super conservative, super cautious movement. Just like Swedish. Oh, and that kills. the grab. Okay, yeah, just ASDI down on jabs. What was the situation? So ASDI down there, ASDI down gentlemen. Into grab. Oh, I'll try for some cheese. Alright, so I will cut it there and upload to YouTube.